Join Tammy Colon's with us from Mental Health Recovery Services, talking about a program that could provide a lot of uh, benefit locally. Okay, so you're kind of partnering in a sense with a group out of Columbus that really knows how to do this for an employee. They have an employee assistance program. Tell us about how it will work here and kind of the problems that it's addressing. Well, I'll start with the problems sure. it's addressing, right? Um, you know, community behavioral health is really struggling um, with having enough professionals to serve our community right. needs uh, with the pandemic and the Affordable Care Act and a whole lot of things. Overloaded, yeah. Yeah, people are really wanting treatment and we just don't have enough providers here. So it, it opens up to thousands of providers through this EAP program across the state of Ohio. They do telepsychiatry as well as for people who are willing and wanting to travel, that they can do that as well. Sure. So we partnered with an organization that provides EAP services and we, the board, bought a package. We bought a very large package. Um, we have 27 spot, 27,000 spots that um, we can enroll businesses and their employees in. So we're, we're targeting small and mid-sized businesses that don't have EAPs. Sure that also need a navigator. So that's the second piece to this program where we have somebody local working with our local businesses and helping to make sure that staff utilize those resources that's available to them and help uh, with billing challenges. EAP is a free service to the business and the employee and their family, so. Yeah, yeah, well, and that navigator is gonna be a crucial position, isn't it? Because there's gotta be a go-between Otherwise, I think sometimes businesses sit back and say, I don't, I don't want to mess Yeah, it, it's interesting. They offer EAP, but the research says that there's only about 3% of people who have EAP use it. Yeah. And yeah, so, you amazing? know, our goal is to make this available. It reduces any financial barriers. It allows access to treatment. And so we want more people to use it. And it's very efficient way for us to provide services to people who can't afford it otherwise. Yeah, and you talked about the deductible and the copay. Some people see that as prohibitive and say, I don't even want to mess with that and try to seek, seek care elsewhere. Yeah, and then they come into a very large community behavioral health system right. that's already struggling to manage the flow of very serious ill people that need to get services. So we're trying to keep everybody in a place where they're comfortable and reduce uh, eliminating all of the financial challenges for them. For the businesses themselves, any eligibility requirements they have to meet to be eligible for this then? Yeah, so we started off with an eligibility of 100 employees or less. Yeah. Because we know our larger businesses have corporate EAPs, corporate HRs, and you know a lot of supportive services for their employees. And then as we um, are able to expand, we will. And the only uh, other eligible criteria is that they have to really buy into the Second Chance Act, supporting people with addictions and mental illness, because we know how important that is to their recovery. And our community has been very, very welcoming to try to help serve those individuals and continue their employment. So we're hoping this is um, a give back to them as well. I, it's really covers a lot of areas. And the other thing we talked about the financial restraints some people see, but there's also a stigma restraint. You've talked about this in the past with other things where people, I don't want to come out and, and talk about this. This might be a little more discreet. Yeah. So I don't want to go into that big, large behavioral health system right. where there's a lot of people walking in and it has its stigma associated to it. Is, and then this allows people to go out of town. Like you and I, we'd probably go out of town if we sure. wanted, you know, treatment or if our family member needed services. Um, and so this will allow access across the state of Ohio. For you guys then, is it a matter of getting the word out to all these businesses? How does that work? Because that seems like a big task in yeah. and of itself. Yeah, so we have a great relationship with our chamber and Activate Allen County. And right now, they're sort of leading this initiative as we're interviewing for the navigator, um, who will then also go out and recruit businesses to join our efforts. Any idea how long this you'll be, have access to this? Is it a temporary thing for a few months, or do we know yet? No. It is my goal to make this part of our Perfect. system of care. It's Great. a very efficient way to get services to a lot of people, support our workforce, support our employers, um, and have access to specialty providers across the state of Ohio and more providers. Very exciting. All right, thank you for telling us about it, Tammy. We appreciate yeah. it. Good no, seeing you. No, thank you. you. Doug Medical News coming up next on Noon Edition.